Next plant is Calocedrus decurrens, number 84. This is uh, behind me is incense cedar. This is the largest specimen that we have here on campus. You can see from a landscape point of view, it actually is distinct in the uh, architecture of the branches. So any of the other uh, small uh, leafed conifers that we're going to do uh, are not going to have architecture like this. Also, the bark is really distinct in this, in this species from the others that we do because it's really, really deeply furrowed and it's very hard, so it doesn't flake off like a, uh, a lot of the other uh, fall cypress species that we do. Up close, this is another easy one to tell apart. So it doesn't have the stomatal bands, but the, uh, the lateral uh, scale-like leaves and the central or facial leaf, they come together such that the facial leaf looks like a, uh, like a, um, a champagne flute. That's a really nice uh, ID feature. Also, the, uh, the fruit or the cones in um, Calocedrus decurrens are quite unique. They look like a duck's bill, uh, and they open up to shed uh, their seeds. And, and you can't see, but there are uh, thousands and thousands of these on the ground. Uh, that have been dropped here recently. Um, and so uh, that uh, should be some, some really easy ID features for Calocedrus decurrence.